Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and we are playing Vintage Story today. We are back with episode number 11, and let me tell you, between 10 and 11, a lot has happened. I did a three-hour-plus live stream for Vintage Story here, and I made a bit of progress, but don't worry. If you missed that live stream, go down to the description, check the playlist for this series, and I've inserted that in in between episode 10 and this one right here 11 so it is it was a good time we had a few people stop by some knowledgeable players who certainly helped me out gave me some great tips and stuff we went on well i'll catch you all up here shortly but uh we did some exploring we picked up some copper not quite enough to get a full set of tools i think i've already put it away yeah, the copper is in one of our containers here, but we've done it. We've made the full move, so we're officially living in this place completely now, although it's way too small and I need to extend it already. But oh my gosh, I had my first death in this world during the live stream. You can see right here, and I won't spoil how. You'll have to go check that out. But um, yeah, we picked everything up, so the, the marker is still there. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it now because it's a shame. It's a shame on my reputation. Oh, it's okay though. I expected to die. You know, this isn't a hardcore run or anything like that. Maybe in the future we'll be doing those, but I'd like to at least try and survive a full winter before, you know, I try like a, a new run. I think that might be a good objective. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. I am loving Vintage Story, especially after the live stream. Oh, and if you are new or you're not subscribed hit that bell notification too because i will be doing more live streams for vintage story it was too much fun not to but anyway i think it's time for bed so how about we hit the sack and we'll check out our inventory and like i said i'll get you caught up on all the fun stuff we've done here around the cottage Good morning, everybody. It is time to begin the adventure. So I've got some uh, turnip stew here. We are very hungry. My boy needs to pig out. So let's eat this. And I was told I should be able to just eat this from my hand. Uh, is he doing it? I'm not able to do that. I still have to do it from the floor, which is weird. Oh, he did eat it. Okay, okay. It just takes him forever. There we go. Well, the turnip stew is not quite as filling as, like, meat stew with, you know, turnips would have been. But I just happen to be in between kills right now. But no worries. The first thing I want to show you that we did in the live stream is regarding the food. So let's go outside real quick. I just want to check my inventory. Let's actually put that down. No, I'm going to need that. We'll take the bowl with us. All right, don't worry. We're going to talk about that here momentarily. But if we come just over here, oh, there's clay here. I just noticed that. Um, by the flowers, we got some beautiful blue flowers. And you'll notice, oh, be careful. There's a pit here. But what's this? It's some sort of strange door like structure. Okay, so I was informed that here in Vintage Story, you can store food in a cellar as long as it's a few tiles underground or a few blocks it should keep it fresher not permanently fresh oh look at this but fresher than it would if it was just sitting in my little cottage you know so i've got the torch in here because we were kind of trying to test the freshness oh yeah 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 you can see normally something like this in a crock which is unsealed these are unsealed by the way this one right here is sealed but these others are not typically this would last about three or four days fresh like four and a half days right out of the cooking pot but since we placed them down here it has extended it by a lot more at least like two weeks more which is amazing i didn't even know it would be that much this was since it's sealed originally it was good for like 39 days or 35 days with a little bit of animal fat uh, you know to seal the lid of it now it's good for two years that's incredible and that's red meat stew right there so that's actually pretty hearty stuff it's not the best because i'm still learning the cooking but this is so amazing and another thing i've kind of realized is i'm setting them um by themselves in a tile just because it's a little bit hard to figure out which one's which just from this information at the top you know when you look there it 
doesn't really tell me I'm not sure which one's which so you kind of see if I separate them yeah I can see exactly the freshness there's not a ton of room but that's okay this is just a really really great thing and I'm obviously doing this for the winter trying to prepare as best as we can so and the reason for the hay bales is they break extremely quickly and they still seal it off just like you know it needs to be sealed but um, yeah that way it's just quick ease in and out real quick and eventually I have plans on maybe we'll dig a tunnel you know, we'll have a little underground passage to our cellar, but we're going to need to get our next phase of tools for that, which is the big focus of today's episode ultimately. But like I said, I want to get you caught up on some of the major changes first. <laughs> oh, and this would be the next one. So you can see I've got a farm and yes, I know the this unfortunately does not double, so to speak. Apparently some kind of entrances and gates and doors do double, but these like really primitive ones don't. So I just put it there for symmetry though. But anyway, the most important thing is the plants. Oh, and real quick, let's do this. I need to pick this up. Yeah, this needs to come with me and be over here. So let's just fill it because this actually does help, of course. So if we look at it, yeah, the moisture on... Oh, Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I need to be right-clicking. Come on, let's get this down. So I just screwed that one up, but it's only a two of, you know, nine. So it didn't hurt it too much. Look at this. Grew, growth stunted due to heat. Interesting. So currently, yeah, it's pretty warm. We're in summer, but um, we need to water. Let's see if watering actually helps that. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean... I don't know if there's much I can do for that other than just plant in an area that's, you know, less, less hot. Because, of course, in this world, there are different regions with different temperature variation. Cold, hot. And we do actually happen to be living right next to a desert. <laughs> uh, which has its perks, though, which we're going to talk about shortly. But... Okay, that at least it's all 100% moisture right now. So even if we've got a, a debuff due to the temp, you know, the moisture is good enough. All right, that's crooked, but don't pay attention to it. We'll just forget about it. Oh, and I realized I didn't eat when I went down below to the cellar, which I intended to do. But I tell you what, we're just going to make some porridge right now. Wait. Uh, let's go get some berries first. I think porridge would be a lot tastier with some berries to throw in there. Oh, and of course, the most important thing, my flower pots. We finally got those up and running, and I found some... This, what is this called? I actually found some better flowers for this, though. So these are... No, that's what I'm going to switch to. Oh, these are corn flour, that's right. And we're going to switch to daisies real quick still trying the different flowers it's important to experiment and see what you like oh i'm liking those a lot though yeah yeah all right corn flowers you're now re relegated to the pond go live in the water with the cattails sir get away from me okay here we go so the pit kilns are empty we of course dealt with those okay and i guess one last thing would be this boy right here and yes that is a copper scythe i actually didn't make this myself i found it in a ruin it was in one of those pots and i was you know this is amazing for cutting grass let me just go ahead and pick it up there we go so check this out this is so cool uh collect <laughs> yes look at this I'm a god of grass cutting right now. Oh, yes. And we can actually change it. So it'll, oops, it'll just trim or remove. So that's insane, isn't it? Doesn't affect bushes, though, or trees. No, not at all. But I love this thing. I think it's pretty safe to leave it just leaning. So we've, I've just, I think it's shift and control. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. I love the way it looks sitting there too. So it's amazing for collecting grass, but, oh, and I, of course, I went and got a bunch of other plants and stuff. We did a really long search for some copper and I found some onions, a few other things. Uh, you know, the, the garden is safe and secure, but I didn't really leave a lot of room to expand, did I? 
Because now I'd love to plant the onions for sure. Get as much variety as we can. I mean, it's not impossible. I can just extend here. We're going to need a bit more resource though. And the, really the priority I think should be copper. I want to get the copper tools going. Let's see. So let's open all our stuff up at once. Okay. The big inventory. Look at all the pelts I've got too. I should start keeping these all in one. Let's do that. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, we explored a lot of the surrounding area looking for copper on the surface. Native copper. I ended up with 13 of them. Now, that's not enough. I was told, I think the comment was roughly 40 native copper nuggets to be smelting like a full set of tools. So, we probably could still smelt some, but we're always on the lookout and we can actually do something else besides search a surface. Apparently, we can pan. Pan as in like old miners panning the for metals. So, we're going to get that whipped up here. I'm just kind of looking through as you can see we also want to pan through the bony soil apparently that's what i need so we'll grab that um some of this stuff is going to be useful later down the line not super useful now i've got sandstone gravel here oh we just dug that up anyway so let me inventory manage a bit more i think i'm going to start to try and put things together as like versus like here and we will start to pan for some copper i've never done it before so i don't know how long it takes i have a rough idea of what we need though so let's get into it all right i've done some inventory management and if we're real quiet we can hear my cooking pot behind me making some porridge with black currants and we're gonna whip up a wooden pan right here this is something I could have easily crafted from pretty much day one, but I didn't know about it at all. So, and even on day one, it probably wouldn't have been super helpful unless I was already a really advanced player and knew what I was doing. Let's see, I need some wood. I don't know. Yeah, we've got, no, I'm sorry, that's low fertility soil. Let's uh, let's go chop a little wood then. I ended up using a ton of it. You can see we got we had a pretty decent stack there. All right, this is still cooking. It's not going to be much. It's just two servings, but that'll keep us going for the day, at least, and tomorrow. So, plenty of wood around. One of the primary reasons I decided to st settle in this position anyway. So, let's get to chopping. I also made two extra spears, so now I have three spears. I've got three shovels, but that's because one's about to break right now. But <laughs> let's do this. Let's go. It's time to collect resources. All right, and boom, there it goes. Now, I was noticed, too, while I was waiting. Look at this. We got carrots right here, boys. I don't actually need the seeds. I mean, we'll take them. I already got carrots, but we can definitely make some carrot stew or something. Maybe we'll spot a boar, too, while we're out here. Also, I've, I've really started to get into the habit of just looking at stones now. Because there's definitely advantage in doing that. As you can see, I just found some borax, which I think we already knew about. Yeah, I've got surface borax marked here generally. In fact, if we went down, we might find some. But we're not going down. <laughs> not right now. We're still collecting wood. So let's chop, chop, chop. All right, well... I think this will probably be enough. There's a portal just up to the right there. Oh, my axe broke. Are you kidding me? Can I knock it out? No, it reset the... Oh, it, it knocked part of it down. Well, that's weird. Yeah, the axe broke, though. I thought I had another one. Damn it, I think I made a shovel. <laughs> oh, I made too many shovels. But, all right, let's get away from this thing. It's not actually affecting me at this distance, but it's just good to be safe. I think I might see some type of crop right there. See that light grass that looks like that might be rye or something. Yeah, that's... Oh! We got a pig boy. Pig, big, big, big. All right, we need this piglet. I'm super full here. All right, we're going to eat our carrots real quick. Yeah, we need this pig, though, for that for me. Really start to whip up some good stew and stuff. Plus, who doesn't like a good pig hunt? All right, beaut. All right, that's that's good enough. Two. That's the... Uh, actually, I probably need three. 
All right, we'll get rid of that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I wish I could get around the other side of him. So I'm chasing him towards the open desert instead of into the trees, but I don't know if he's going to let me. Got water right here, boys. Let's, let's see if we can startle him. We got this, boy. This is perfect. Did I pick it up? I didn't hear the ding. All right. Oh, he looked at me and then he was like, nope. Don't want no peace. Is that a different one? Hold on, we're about to do a double. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? If I can hold one, I can hold two. Oh, yeah, boys, we did it. All right, my spear is over there. I did make a second knife, so actually if this one breaks, we're okay. Big double kill right there. That's huge. And again, we've got preservation, so nothing is being wasted. Not even worried about the bones. The bones will be there. Like, if I need those, I can come back to them. But all oh, that was huge. Now, you might notice, too, just ahead of us, there's some chickens. And it's really been on my mind to set up like a second fence. Yeah, see the little chick chicks? They've been around here for a little while. I want to set up a second little fenced in area and, and try and get them. I don't know how to, though. Look at that brown coal just hidden. That color caught my eye. Oh, there's coal here. Oh, there is definitely some coal here. Let's do brown. And coal it is. Yes. It was definitely... Oh, I think I just canceled that, didn't I? Yeah, hold on. Okay, got to hit save, not escape. Very good. But um, it was confirmed, of course, during the live stream that that is a thing if you see it on the surface mark it on your map because it could be down there below okay now i'm looking at every little thing that jumps so i picked up some extra birch for one reason you can see the cottage isn't quite done of course it's really far from complete but oh my god don't do that i hate that little glitch there it's annoying it's like you gotta place every block twice but anyway so there we go. It's probably because of the jumping. Yeah, if I were standing here, I probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, it's pretty solid like that. So that's a little better. How does that look? What do you guys think? I mean, I'm actually not in love with the sandstone cobble, of course. The, the birch looks great, but sandstone cobble is gross. We're going to get rid of it at some point. It was mainly scavenged from ruins, so it needs a big upgrade at some point but we've got bigger fish to fry so let's go ahead let's see we only get two of these i actually tempted not even to worry about it because i could probably use the lump of fat better for preserving stuff you know meats and foods oh my god is this burned no it just looks weird okay you know, I'm realizing I need to do another round of crockpots. Really, maybe even double. Eight crockpots, I'm thinking. I know, it might be overkill, but I really would love to fill that cellar up. And I mean, we can dig other cellars too, if we need. But, um, alright, so I've got a, no room in my inventory. Let's go ahead. I've got to do a little bit of management here. I'm going to open these all up. And then I'm going to eat, because we got to get that food off the fire. Damn it. So I'm going to go ahead and just work on this for a moment, and then we will start on the wood pan. Oh boy, you guys. The sun is setting just below the horizon, and I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. No, not quite. I'm actually over by our original base, and the reason I came is for berries. That's right. Sorry, just thought I saw something, but... Where is it? Our little shack is just ahead. You can always see it thanks to its little cigar roof. There it is right there. This was the first hut we ever dug into a side of a hill. Oh, yes. 
Oh, starting to rain. And I was certain that there would be bushes here because I planted them very early in the run. These were some of the first bushes I ever found in Vintage Story. And they have just started to finally produce berries. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to have way too many berries. But we're taking them all. I said I was going to wait till they fully flowered. And some of them aren't quite there, but I don't care. We're just taking everything. Because these are all getting replanted back home. Jeez, that's an obscene amount. Like, I can't even pick all this up, dude. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, it hurts me to do it, but I'm actually going to leave some of the berries here. And I just need the bushes. I'm going to leave the rawhide. Again, that stuff. I've got chests full of rawhide right now. So, it's not hard to kill. And I'm going to leave this. Like that. Hold on, we got to move. I saw some more bushes, I thought. Oh, come on. Throw these over here, throw those over there. There it is, that's what I'm looking for. All right, now I am taking a stack of berries too. The reason I came, and we gotta get home because it's already freaking dark almost. But yeah, that was worth it. That was worth the trip. We got tons of bushes. Look at that, seven, seven, two, eight. Um, and I've got all that meat, so I needed to make a, a real stew with it, you know, not just meat by itself. Berries aren't the most substantial. Probably turnips or onions would have been better with the stew. But at this point, I'm just happy to have something. And we've got to make it home now. Let's see. If you look at my mini-map, upper right, of course, you can see the blue icon is the new homestead. That's our cabin. And it has been pinned to the map oh you can also see i put a torch on that tree right there i was just goofing around during the live stream but there are actually wolves living in this forest right here we've seen them a couple of times i think we've actually spotted them at one point in the let's play series too so i gotta be super careful crossing this region because they do kind of wander they tend to wander around all right let's move let's move uh, and of course that torch isn't gonna last forever and it's not deterring anything i know i'm just i'm just putting it there we put it there for fun that tree is my landmark so i just kind of illuminated it but um who we made it i thought we would this guy is a fast little sprinter although it did take up most of his food value but look at this we're gonna eat oh damn it that's not what i wanted to do See, I hate having to be empty-handed to eat. That is super annoying, but whatever. I'll just put this on the fire. I took this so it wouldn't... Ah, it's cold. <laughs> I have to relight it. Dang it. All right, let's just get this loaded up because every second that goes by, this meat is sitting here. Go and buy it. Oh, that's going to be one substantial meal right there, folks. So that means it's six charges, correct, I believe? Let's get this lit real quick and we'll see what it says. Okay, there we go. I called it charges, but I meant six meals or servings. Wait, why is it not? Oh, don't tell me it's going to do this again. Um, it might be too cold. Uh, all right, let me actually... I need to plant these bushes because I just don't have the space for some of these. I don't want to randomly just throw them out here, though. Dang it. I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. All right, I think I'm just going to munch out on these berries real quick. We'll let the fire get warm. Okay, it's still not telling me that's good. I don't know. I've struggled a little bit to get the cooking just right, but these berries are just in my inventory, so I think I'll fill up on them. I know we still have two servings of stuff, but that'll last. All right, now we're just going to get rid of them. What? Throw the whole stack, please. All right, let's go. So, how's this doing? Duh, okay. Uh, if I pick it up... No, that's weird. Huh. Starting, still trying to kind of piece together how the UI really works well. All right, so... Let's actually put these back. I See, I think it's not a temperature thing. See, no, that should work. But I've told I've been told that it needs to be an even amount, which we don't quite have. We're at 13, but so what? Okay, that's six. Oh, so it's just one stack of berries, not two there. Okay, I think that's slightly different from the porridge recipe. Then, interesting. Well, 
still figuring things out. No big deal. And you know what? I have still not made that pan yet. So let's do one wooden pan. Get this finally made. All right, I think it actually needs to be like that. Wait, what? Hold on. Huh? Wooden pan? So that, oh, there it is. Wooden pan. Oh, it needs to be next to it. Got it, got it. Very particular. All right, we'll put this... Hopefully my knife, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully the knife is sharp enough. I don't want that to be the issue. All right, good, 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 good. And this thing is massive. <laughs> it's just like right in his face. So I don't really know how this works. I expect maybe it's a crafting... No? Oh, you know what? I think it's actually this. Does this need to be in my hand? My off hand? Let's try X... X. Can I place block? Another block is in the way. Hmm. Well, you know what? It's probably in the H menu. If I look at panning, yeah, it's got a whole section here. So I'm going to read this real quick. Okay. Well, it is the next day. And I figured after reading instructions, I was going to need water. So we would just wait. Now we do need to stand in water, so we'll just come over here where it's relatively safe, I hope. And we have to have the wooden pan in our hand. Um, we're going to do the bony soil first. I have to go collect sand, but of course this works with bony soil. Wait, how does this work? Um, so it gives instructions again. Let's read this together. All players, water, stand in water. And either sand gravel, bony soil, muddy gravel won't work. Simply stand in water, right mouse click the pan on the material to be sifted. Then right click, right mouse click once to start sifting. Each block has eight charges. Uh, right mouse click. It just picks it up when I do that. And it switches it. What does it mean? Right mouse click on it? Huh? Oh, uh, okay. I'll just have to experiment a little bit more. Oh, I'm doing it. I realize you have to place the stuff. Okay. So we're sifting bony soil. It's taking a while. Is that really? Oh, do I need to get down in the water maybe? Crouch. This one's just taking a while. Oh. I think I need to be pointed at the soil. Yep. Okay, that one just emptied. Um, we got a rough diamond out of it. I really need to be planting these. But Oh, we did get something out of that second time. <gasps> a flint arrowhead. Okay, well that's not super helpful. But tell you what, I will finish off that block. I think the rest of this bony soil should just be saved because our priority and what I should be spending time on is, of course, copper. But what I'm going to first spend time on is getting these dang bushes out of my inventory. So these need to be placed real quick because they're eating up a lot of valuable space. I'm just going to start slapping them down out here, I guess. I'll try and do them in a little bit of a line. That way we'll have kind of a nice little orchard feel. Yeah. If I skip a couple spaces, that's fine. Yeah, that's cool. And start with this one. We'll leave a couple of rows there. Oh, just two of them there. All right, we'll do a few more here. This is good. I like this. Skip a space. Okay, we're good. And we'll come back over here. I've got a few other bushes around the house. I'm kind of tempted to move them too. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's fine. I mean, there's a bush here. There's a couple right up against us. But for now, we're focused. So we're not going to worry. I did make, in the night, I made four raw crocs. Those are ready to go. I just need to grab, grab the stuff. I also did not make any axes, but they're sitting in there, so there's still a lot to do. Now, the good news is I do have a bunch of s shovels, so I can probably get a stack of sand very easily. Let's see, is this sand? Sandstone rock, that's not going to work. Sandstone, no, it says sandstone stand. Yeah, this is what we want, I think. Okay, there goes the first shovel. That's good, though. 
getting making room in the inventory all right well i don't need to get a full stack just to test it that would in fact probably be smart not to do that because if it doesn't work that's a waste of time so let's just come to this side plop it on plop it on what there we go okay we're getting it and let's do this come on give me some copper yes it's working and we're floating oh my god we're raising what is happening all right, i should probably do it over here nope that same effect i think there's a higher current over here or something with the water maybe we'll go to the other side because this is super annoying look at this is this how it's meant to be this is what you're gonna do to me lake i mean it's working oh my god <laughs> what just happened oh i think we did because i only had 11. we did get a couple so now we're at 13. let's see what this does here real quick okay well i had to come over to this side yep one little piece but that was a good start yeah, that other side is super annoying, and it doesn't really work very well over there, bouncing up and down like that. But this is going much smoother and quieter <laughs> over here, much calmer. Pretty amazing. This is going to work. Now, the next step, I don't know how to do. We've got crucibles. I've got a fire, but I don't... I feel like just a regular fire is... Come on, is this working? I feel like it's not going to be enough to temperature wise so okay now the little pixels are coming up it's it's really hard to tell if this work if it's like working or if i'm just standing here doing nothing but it takes an exceptionally long time do i need to be underwater <laughs> uh okay anyway so i think i'll have to go back to the guide to figure out what but i think we are really just stages away a couple of little tools maybe i do need to build like a kiln or something that might be it maybe i do a pit kiln i don't know i don't know anyway this is not working for some reason what the frick is happening here okay now it's making the noise okay and that worked like super quick oh what what just happened there i don't think i got anything that time weird okay huh Your crouching is not the way to go because that like deletes the sand literally i'm not getting it back it just deleted it when i did that that was crazy all right well we're learning things are still in early access here a little bit of tweaks and things of that nature will i'm sure come in fact someone told me during the live stream today that the developers say the game is only like 10 percent of the way done which is crazy if that's true if that's their outlook and a how much more they're going to dedicate to this yeah i'm impressed already well this just works like once it says each block has eight charges but i'm really only getting functionally i'm only getting one out of them i think it's because i'm not able to reach it or something okay that worked see uh we didn't get anything but that's i think that's typical i'm able to take it but then it doesn't like grind away at it I don't understand huh you gotta like listen for the noise but does it work over here it's very imprecise feels that way at least i'm probably just doing something wrong now it's working okay 15 we got 15 <laughs> oh oh my god i can see how this is tedious as heck though and i am tempted to just like explore the world you know searching for the copper we need because the majority of what we've got here i did find that way just wandering through the the rocky biome so we found some in the desert in fact i can show you on the map because i marked it right here we found some native copper on the soil this is this actually is a lead vein of ore that is in a little cave we happen to discover there's another npc over here trading some stuff oh and that reminds me too 
while we were out exploring, not only did we find NPCs and copper and stuff, but I found gears. Well, I also found resin, which we're going to use for some kind of crafting purpose. But I located these. Look at this. Rusty gear. So this is the currency that the NPCs use. And I think typically we could get these by selling, crafting up stuff that the NPCs buy and selling it to them. And then I think they'll give us gears or they give us credits, a gear, credit. I'm not sure. But we discovered these just literally out and about exploring. One of them was kind of tucked away in a little cavern. Another one was down in like a box canyon. So it's pretty cool, man. I'm really, really enjoying the exploration in this game. It's one of the things I always loved about Minecraft was exploring that world. And I mean, honestly, the vintage story is just head and shoulders above Minecraft. No offense to anybody out there who has a passion for Minecraft or loved it growing up as a kid. It is a great game, but mine, or, but Vintage Story, I think, has taken the mantle and just ran with it. Really, really stepped up what is possible in a world like this. But I think we will leave things off for today. I know there's still so much to do, so much to explore, but don't worry. The series will continue, guys. And of course, as I mentioned, I will be doing more live streams of this. It's not going to be every single day or, you know, every single live stream I do. But you can certainly count on more Vintage Story live streams. And I'll include those in the playlist, too, as we go along. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here. Once again, hit that like button for me. And I will see you all on the next one. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. I just want to take a moment to recognize my Patreons. As you can see, I've put their names in gold because they are, in fact, more precious than that shiny metal. Now I'd like to take a moment to invite you to also support the channel for as little as 2 5 or $10. You gain access to all my content early and ad-free over on Patreon, as well as a private Discord server with me and my other Patreons where we do some giveaways and have great conversations. But once again, thank you, everybody and I'll see you on the next one.